All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adria Spoon. I work at Bowling Green State University in Bowling Green, Ohio, but I'm actually serving as the moderator for the session that is happening this afternoon. I'm going to share my screen and go through just a couple housekeeping updates. And then I will turn it over to today's presenter. All right. Well, now I got too <laughs> excited. We, you've not joined us yet, so I got to get to the right slide. There we go. So I want to say thanks again for joining us for this OACAC sponsored session. Um, there is going to be a presentation that lasts 45 minutes today. And uh, while you are not able to, uh, the presenter does not see you or is not able to hear you, there is the chat function on the bottom of the screen. So make sure that if you have any questions that you click that button and uh, chat any questions to our presenter. The uh, ability to sign up for additional sessions. These sessions are lasting for a few more days in uh, the beginning of October, but then we're gonna have more sessions at the end of October. So using the OACAC.org website to be able to sign up for those additional sessions and also using it as a resource to view any of the previously recorded sessions. So if you missed one, uh, you wanna catch it after the fact, it is gonna be hosted on that site at www.oacac.org. So I am gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen at this time. I'm really excited to introduce Allison. She is coming to us from West Virginia University Institute of Technology, and she's gonna take it away. Thanks, Allison. Thank you so much. All right, so I should be sharing my screen now. Thank you so much for joining into my presentation. I hope you get some Good information about WVU Tech. So this is me. I look a little bit different now. Um, this was, you know, before quarantine. You know, after you go into quarantine, you have to cut all your hair off and <laughs> a lot of things change. But my name is Allison Moore. And we're just going to get started. So I am WVU Tech. I am the Beckley campus. But our whole WVU system is statewide. And what that means is you have Beckley, Morgantown, and Kaiser. Um, and we all work together. We, we, we're seamlessly moving each other to different campuses, if you'd like. You could stay at one campus, you can continue at a different one. Um, we're really just connected. Because you can see our Morgantown campus, the Mountaineers, if you, you know, enjoy football, you might know them. They have almost 30,000 students in Morgantown, um, tons of majors. My Beckley campus, we only have almost 2,000 students, and we only have 35 majors. Now, Kaiser, they have a little bit less than us, but they have 60 majors. So it really just finding the best fit for you if you want a big college experience, you know, lots of football games, tailgates, all that fun stuff. Morgantown's definitely for you. If you want a smaller class size, a more calm, chill environment, I think Beckley can offer you that. And then Kaiser, if you like the great outdoors, um, you know, they have a lot of opportunities for that in agriculture. Oops. So this is my campus. Um, from the very right, you can see the little blue tents. That starts campus. That is Carter Hall. You'll have classes in there and different faculty buildings, but you go down the main road and you follow it and you can go all the way to the end and that's our dorm. It's one of our dorms. And then you also see the life science building. Um, it would be better to see it in person, of course. That's a little bit difficult these days. So, but just having a little aerial shot, I think is pretty neat. So you at least kind of see, you know, what's going on and what we have to offer with that. So since we are in Beckley, go ahead and talk a little bit about Beckley in West Virginia. Um, it's about 17,000 people. It's the ninth largest city in West Virginia. And our campus is in the heart of downtown Beckley. Uh, but, you know, I live actually right close to campus. So it only takes me 10 minutes and I can get to Chick-fil-A. Um, I can get to Dunkin' Donuts. I can get to a lot of places to do. And I can get our, to our mall and go shopping at Hobby Lobby and different things like that. So we have a lot of stuff to offer just a little bit outside of campus. Um, with our resident halls, we have two of them. And, you know, we try to make sure everything stays safe. Um, the community 
knows about tech, they enjoy tech being here, and we all just kind of watch each other's back. But also on our campus, we have the Launch Lab. That's really cool. I was actually a contestant in a uh, business competition in the Launch Lab. I lost, but hey, you win some and you lose some. This is a, just kind of a better map to talk about campus. You will see there's like two yellow buildings that are kind of off to the side there. Um, you won't really ever go into number one because that's more for faculty, but 27 is a newer building and that's going to be a lot of criminal justice majors. So if you're a criminal justice, you might have some classes in there, but I, I, don't, I don't think that's more for anybody else. It's just kind of them right now because that was kind of a booming program. So we needed more classes for you. Um, so that's the only time you might have to make a short walk to get to class and then head on back to the biggest part of campus. So just at a glance, um, Tech was founded in 1895. It's been around for a really long time. Um, if you know about us, you might have heard about our engineering. That's kind of our main thing that we have, but we also have really other good programs like nursing and you know, criminal justice and what I was talking about. Um, we have almost 2,000 students. We have maintained growing that number since 2012. Um, we're yet to see if COVID is going to try to hurt our chances with that or not but it hurt everybody differently. 17% um, minority on campus, 48% um, male, 51% female. Um, and we break it down to two academic colleges. And that is the College of Business Humanities and Social Sciences, and then Leonard C. Nelson College of Engineering and Sciences. So whatever major you pick, you're gonna be under one of those colleges. And we have 35 academic programs. We have a small class size, about 17. Um, you know, it might be a little bit as a freshman class, like you might have about 25 and I don't know, English 101, but as you start getting into your major classes, it's going to shrink down to about 17. We have very experienced faculty. They have about 12.5 years of service, some great athletic programs, and 40 plus student organizations and clubs. These are some of our achievements. Uh, I mentioned engineering is a big one for us, and there's a good, a good reason for that. Um, all non-engineering programs we offer are ABET accredited, and that's the best accreditation you're going to get. Um, and we've maintained that for years. Um, we're very proud of our engineering. Um, we were ranked in the top 100 for our engineering college. And we also have the top 15% for salary potential among four-year college universities in the U.S. Um, and we focus a lot on that too. It's not just our job to you know, get you an education. We also want to make sure you get a job after you graduate or you have a very, very good chance of getting to grad school. This is our student profile for fall 2020. Um, the average GPA for an entering student was 3.5. The average ACT was a 20.5 and the average SAT is a 1050. Um, that's definitely not to say if you don't have a 3.5 GPA and you don't have the 1050 SAT, you're not going to get in. That's not true. That's just the average. Um, really, if you have a lower GPA and lower, lower uh, test score, that kind of just depends. That'll kind of break down your chances for scholarships. But we still definitely try to work with you to make sure you can come to our college. And really, the most states around us that we gain enrollment from is, of course, West Virginia. But we also have Virginia, Maryland, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. We have very distinguished faculty, 87 full-time faculty members. Um, we have no classes that are taught by graduate or teaching assistants. Um, that's kind of a big one if you, if you think it's kind of odd if just, you know, you have a teaching assistant teaching the class. Um, of course, they need that experience, and that's why that happens, but we just, we don't have that. Um, all of them are taught by educated licensed professors. Um, their primary responsibility is to teach and advise, and that's exactly what they do. And we have the PhD by the colleges and the school, so the BHSS, 19 out of 30 of our professors have PhDs, and the LNCSES, Leonard C. Nelson College of Engineering Sciences, is 48 out of 49. So definitely if you're sciencey, engineering, um, you have some very, very distinguished professors helping you out. In the School of Nursing, we have one out of eight. So programs of study, 
We have a good bit. Um, I have a lot of people ask if we have education. Uh, we just don't. <laughs> We're more of a STEM focus. So a lot of the sciences, a lot of the math. Um, one of the cooler new ones though is hospitality. Um, that one's new. You will actually be at Kaiser for like the first two years getting the um, book smarts out of the way. And then you're gonna come to Beckley, my campus, and then start cooking. And by the end of that program, you're gonna have your chef's license. Um, aerospace engineering is more unique too. You're gonna start at Beckley campus at Tech, and then you're gonna finish at Morgantown, uh, the big main campus. But also we have other fun ones, chemical engineering from accounting, um, computer science, that's a big one too. But you know, our forensic investigation and criminal justice has been booming lately. So we've put a lot of work into that one. Uh, but also check us out for nursing and psychology um, and even sports management for you. Here's some of our pre-professional tracks, pre-medicine, pharmacy, veterinary, dental, and law. Uh, the man in the picture with his <laughs> hand on fire is one of our professors. Um, he's really, he's more of a chemistry professor and he's a really great guy. I mean, to light your hand on fire safely for science, that's, that's something to, to be amazed. <laughs> so campus housing, we do have two dorms. It's Hogan Hall and University. So Hogan is more of a freshman dorm. Um, you will have two people in the dorm with you. So you'll have a bed, bed, and then next door, you'll have two other people. But University Hall is your own room um, and your own bathroom. So you don't have to share a bathroom. You still share a shower though. It's, it's unique, it's a little weird. But that's just so, you know, hopefully you come in, you make friends, uh, you stay a while. Um, and then later on, if you wanna transfer over to university, then you can transfer over there. Um, but either way, both of them, you, know, you have the resident director, if you need anything, knock on their door, they're there to help you out. All of them have internet, TV, the study areas, the fitness rooms, laundry, and a game room for you. Our dining services, we have the Bears Den, which is our cafeteria, it's like a buffet style. And then we have the tech spot. So if you come into the Bears Den for lunch or dinner, you'll Swipe your card, grab a plate, get what you want. I love the salad bar, personally. Uh, sit down and eat. Um, but if you're trying to hurry up and get to class, the tech spot is, it's a we proudly serve Starbucks. So get you some coffee, grab you a bagel. You know, you walk in and there's all kinds of stuff. Um, lots of prepackaged sandwiches, snacks, a, like two big drink coolers. Um, if you don't want coffee, grab a soda and a sandwich. And, You'll be good to go and those are our prices for the meal plans residential versus commuter so these are our student clubs and organizations through you know more academic ones or psychology clubs um, biology clubs that's a big one for nursing and just biology majors in the first place um, they have a lot of fun they go to they help out our local watershed they make sure it's and clear and safe to drink because that watershed, you know, it's our community. We have to make sure it's safe um, or people will be drinking bad water. So they do a lot of stuff for the community as well. Um, but other ones, the Society of Mechanical Engineers, that's an interesting one. But more of the social side, you have the Golden Bear Esports Club. That's newer. Um, if you love video games, I have a feeling you'll love that. <laughs> so definitely check that one out. Um, Active Minds, International Student Organization, um, and then the Student Activity Board would be a fun one if you like, if you, if you like doing that kind of stuff. Um, one of, I guess is kind of unique is outside of tech, not only do you have you know, places to shop and eat, you also have a lot of parks. We are very close to the New River Gorge Bridge. Uh, if you know about Bridge Day, where people jump off the New River Gorge Bridge, uh, you were very close to that. Um, you could even go there and witness it if you like. Personally, I'm not jumping off of the New River Gorge Bridge, but I'll, I'll watch you. <laughs> but I mean, even if you pick um, Adventure Rec as your major, because that is, is also a major that we offer, you'll be doing a lot of this. They're not gonna make you jump off the bridge, but you'll be doing a lot of sledding, whitewater rafting, hiking, 
um, a lot of that fun stuff, but you don't have to be in that major to do this. Um, it's also like a club as well. Here's our athletics for those who are in sports. Um, you might know our men's basketball team, if you watch a lot of basketball. Um, I know our women's and men's soccer did awesome last year. Very proud of them. But we also offer other ones like, you know, volleyball, swimming, track and field, um, cross country, esports. Um, yeah, for new for fall 2020, it's our esports. And then, you know, the 12 NAIA All American teams and all that good stuff. So, if you're into sports, definitely check us out. Um, we do get a lot of out of state students um, that also do sports with us. And then they also academically, we try to make it as easy as possible. So you're not struggling with academics and sports. We try to make it smooth and easy for you. So safety is a really, really big priority. Um, I know even when I was picking a college, I wanted a college that I knew, you know, I could feel safe at. Um, and that's no exception here at Tech. We monitor the community. Our campus police officers are also certified police officers, um, the same as a normal police officer. Um, all the public areas are monitored by video surveillance. Um, the Live Safe app system is a great system to, um, to follow along with and keep in touch with. We also do a lot of community service. So if you're into that, that's a great opportunity. Our program, such as Student Success Center, is really good. Um, they're gonna help advise you, tell you what classes they think you should have for your major, are you doing okay? Maybe you shouldn't take trig and calculus the same semester. They're there to help you out with that. Um, we have a lot of internships, job placement opportunities to make sure that we can get you ready for the workforce out of school. And if you don't go right into the workforce, we're gonna send you to grad school. Um, these are some of where our grads have went to school after tech. Where our graduates work, a lot of big names, Google, Walt Disney World, NASA. Um, we do filter out a lot of great students to a lot of great companies. Financial aid, very, very important. Besides getting accepted in the college, financial aid is definitely the second one. Do your FAFSA, it's so, so important. And we have our code here. Admissions, this is my information. Um, call us, you chat us, whatever you can. If you need us, we're here for you. If you want early enrollment classes, you can also do this as well. This is when it starts and as a junior and a senior, you wanna go ahead and get English 101 knocked out. You can do that, only $25 per credit hour. Our fall open house, this is a lot of information on that, so it's kind of a lot to unpack. They are both virtual and it will be October the 24th and November the 21st. So definitely come join us for fall open house. We'd absolutely love to have you. And just stay connected with us. Um, we have our socials up here. Um, just stay in touch, see what's going on. And then we'll see if we have any questions. You can go ahead and put them on the chat now. Kind of ran through the last part a little quickly, but I didn't want to run out of time. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> oh my gosh, if I had a dollar for every time I had someone tell me, you're so muted. Uh, <laughs> great job, Allison. Whoop, I got to pull my screen up. Uh, I just wanted to, to encourage the opportunity to get personal questions answered through that chat. Um, if there's certain details that you want to make sure to ask Allison, I know she did a general overview, but this is a, a great opportunity to get specific questions answered and just learn a little bit more. So pop those questions in the chat and she will help answer them. And if you can't think of one right away, that's fine. Um, you can holler at me at the, at our website or um, you can find me online. You, know, you don't have to do it right now. Um, and anyone watching this later, of course, um, you can always just email me. 
Now I'm just here for you. <laughs> doesn't seem like there's any questions popping in. I don't want to shut this down too early, but if there aren't any additional questions, um, we can finish up for this afternoon. And what I can do is I will, Allison, if you want to go ahead and not share your screen, unshare, and then I will pop in. Here we go. So I'm just going to do my closing screen for today. And just want to take the opportunity to say thank you for joining us this afternoon. Uh, there is going to be a quick survey when you close out and we'd love to hear your feedback to see if there's anything that we can do to make this better. Again, we have additional sessions that are going to be taking place throughout the rest of the fall and those are all going to be hosted and registration is available on the OACAC.org website. And again, um, if there's anything that you want to go back and review and evaluate that uh, Allison shared this afternoon, you will be able to pop back on the OACAC.org website and you can see the recording in about a week. So thank you again for the opportunity to connect with you. Great job, Allison. It was great to hear all about your institution and uh, thanks for joining us today. Thank you.